Hey Swans away days here in today, it's match preview time. Um, back again from an international break where Wales won two games, so fairly happy with that. But it's time to get back into the Swans action and this weekend we've got Nottingham Forest at home, which should be a very tough game on paper. Nottingham Forest have yet to lose a game uh, away from home in the Championship. Their last result was a one all draw home to Preston, which isn't the worst of results because when Preston came down to Liberty they were very well drilled side and probably deserve the point where we nicked the 3-2 win. But um, Forest, like I've said, unbeaten away from home, great points at Leeds and uh, f obviously they beat Fulham as well and got a point to Charlton, so they've gone to some tough grounds and got points, so I don't think the Liberty will be as much as a fear for them, but they do know we're top league and they do know we play nice football. So they're not on Forest, so you've got to give them respect, they've got a good manager in Sabri Lamushi, who's probably tested himself so far at this level. Um, I think his only defeat was against West Brom. I don't think they've lost another game apart from that. So yeah, it's going to be a very tough game on paper. Obviously, you've got Lewis Graben, who's a bone goal scorer in the championship. He might frustrate some fans, but at the end of the day, just get both the goals in the back of the net. Um, obviously, they've got some other good players like Bree Samber in goal. He's a very good goalkeeper. Adnan Mourich played okay for Kosovo on the weekend uh, on Tuesday, saved a penalty from King. But um, both sides are, have a very strong team. Um, Forest are bringing a lot of support down, so safe journey to them. But uh, it's, like I've said, it's going to be a very entertaining game. Um, obviously, our home form is very good, and hopefully that can continue Saturday. And on to team news from the Swansea. I believe Nathan Dye and Aldo Kalula are back in training, yet to see if they'll be forced into action. Um, obviously, we've got the likes of Christopher Peterson yet to have a real chance in the first team. Um, but the probable lineups probably going to be Woodman, Roberts, Van der Hoorn, Road on Bidwell. Grimes, Fulton, um, Selena, Ayu, Baston. But the main question is who's going to play that number 10 role? Is it going to be Jan Dando who's going to be given another chance? Played very well against Birmingham, but against Leeds he was very poor and lacked and lacked the, not the ability, but the strength to really have a part to show in that game. Leeds away is obviously not the type of game for Jan Dando. Could George Byers get a game? Could Jan Danda? It's, I really don't know. I'm going to put George Byers just because Forrest are a very good team and we need to be careful the way we set up. Byers is more than capable of playing in a number 10 role. It's not his favourite position. He used to be a number 10, but obviously he's been playing more deeper. I like Byers playing deeper and coming into the edge of the box. Goals like Hull, uh, Preston, obviously. I, so, um, yeah, Byers, I think he should be playing this game but if Jan Danda does play it won't be won't be the worst thing in the world hopefully Aldo Kalula is on the bench because he's a like his FIFA card says a pace merchant and I have liked the look of Aldo so far I know he gets injured I know he's been injured quite a lot but I did like the look of him at Derby he had some good uh, first few good touches to his game and I just think the more he plays, the more he'll get better. Same with the likes of Christopher Peterson. Obviously, Routledge got the winning goal against Leeds, but I don't think he'll be playing this game. He might come on to bench if we need uh, an experienced player to come on in the middle of the park. But, um, yeah, st squad's looking strong. Top of the league. Let's just see if we can stay there for Forest after Saturday now. Thanks, Stone Toe, for coming on my channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't gone, if you haven't subscribed to Do, uh, make sure you do so. Links are down below. He's smashing it. I mean, I think he's on like 1.5k or 1.4k. I'm not really sure, but he's smashing it. And it's good to see Do uh, do well because obviously I've known him for a while and uh, I kind of took inspiration to do my channel because of him. Um, obviously, uh, he's a good Forest content creator. Sadly, I did meet him in March, but I met uh, Jack Pugsy and Ben Gregors. Hopefully, I'll be meeting a few of uh, the Forest lot as well. But um, big shout out to Doe for coming on my channel. This is what he's got to say about Forest's, about Forest's perspective ahead of the clash Saturday. Hello, people. This is Mr. Doe, Doe and Tor. I'm on Reese's channel to give Muscle Forest a preview against Swansea. Key players for Muscle Forest uh, is going to be grabbing Lolly. Cavalli, if he's back, um, Albert Demo, if he comes off the bench. We've got quite a lot of key players, but main players are Grebin and Lolly. season so far, uh, it's been not bad to be fair. We lost to West Brom in the first game of the season, but we've done not bad to be fair. We've got points away to Leeds and who else was it? Leeds and Charlton away. Uh, great result against Fulham and Birmingham. And then we got a surprise draw against Preston. Even if we were shocking the game. But so far, nine points. Not bad. My player 
prediction for score, I think I think Bosch will create this. I think we will win 3 1. I know Swansea are on fantastic form with their front three or four, but uh, I, I think Bosch will create it 3 1. Make sure you subscribe to myself, Dawn Tour. I follow Nottingham Forest home and away. Uh, I have Malcolm and Craig with me. And make sure you subscribe to my mate, Reese, best Swansea lover in Wales and Swansea. But yeah, thank you very much for having the chance, please. People who had their score predictions right again, Leeds will be on the screen now. I'm pretty sure there's a few of you who went for 1-0 and if you didn't then unlucky I win again. But uh, if anyone predicted that, fair play. I do know uh, this boy called Daniel Griffiths, you know, one of my mates. He said to me in one of the live streams a few days before, 1-0 Swansea, last minute winner. And Dan, if you uh, should have put a bet on me, you could have won uh, yourself a few hundred pounds. <laughs> like Ethan, but um, well done if anyone had that score prediction right. Like I've said, make sure you put your comments down below about your score prediction. Don't have to get the scores right, but if you do, it's just a bonus. Well, thanks for watching this video. So on City v Nottingham Forest match preview. Set to be an entertaining game. Forest are bringing quite a lot down considering their journey. Um, yeah, it should be a very good game. Hopefully, we can bring a. Hopefully, the crowd's decent down the Liberty. Of course, um, people weren't buying tickets because the owners. But I just think we need to be back in that Steve Cooper and the boys. No, I don't think many people expect us to be first after the international break, especially losing McBurney, Dan James, players like that, and obviously having quite a young squad. But I just think we've settled into this league now. Last season was kind of a experimental season with the like just blooding in the youth. But I think obviously the year older, more tactics. They'll know how to like time waste and stuff like that. They just know how to play clever now. And I think, I just think we we've just. Graham Potter obviously helped us, but I just think Steve Cooper's helped us even more, if you know what I mean, with tactics-wise now. Um, so thanks, Doe, again, for coming to my channel. I appreciate that. Link will be down below. Hopefully, the vlog will be out Saturday if everything goes well. Uh, make sure you, if you come and see me for a prediction, you're more than welcome. Um, I'll try cutting up the language because, uh, obviously, yeah, watching and stuff like that. But uh, I, can't, I can't promise anything because I'm a very passionate Swans fan. But, uh, like I've said, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, tr let's see if, how many subs we can gain this month last month was mental I'm not really expecting too much now for the season obviously I've hit my goal if we could possibly get 1.5k before Christmas I'd be insane just just my birthday is 27th of December if anyone cares don't know why I mentioned that but thanks for watching uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe and uh, I'll see you Saturday come on the Swans